By a vote of four to two, the Branson Board of Aldermen have passed an ordinance limiting where drag shows can be performed in the city. While officials spoke in favor of preserving the city's identity of faith, family, flag, and fun, opponents say the new law is a violation of the Constitution. Color 10's Parker Padgett is live in Spring or er, live in Branson rather after breaking down this ordinance and telling us what's next. Yeah, Lisa Rao with the city of Branson tells me those who have already been doing drag performances are grandfathered in and can continue performance. She also tells me over the phone that the city or the decision rather by the board was the best outcome for the city to comply with the Constitution while also respecting voter concerns. The attorneys I spoke with were all pretty much in agreement on one main point. If you pass this ordinance, you will be violating the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. As restrictive as this ordinance has been written, it's going to be it's going to be a, a rather serious, serious violation of, 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 of what we want in our entertainment for it to happen. Heated debate Tuesday night over a Branson City ordinance restricting drag shows. The Board of Aldermen defines drag shows as a performance where gender stereotypes are exaggerated and impersonated. The misconception is this board is allowing and inviting drag shows to come to Branson. This ordinance is not saying, yes, we're allowing it. This ordinance is saying the, the, that use is, is allowed based on our constitution, we're just putting up some guardrails. The ordinance also requires any establishment featuring drag shows to be at least 600 feet from any religious group, a school, park, or homes. Branson Alderman voiced their concerns before voting. So when we pass this, we're gonna get national attention and we're gonna get sued. And we took an oath to uphold the constitution and do what's right for the city and to protect the city. Passing an ordinance that does basically nothing is not protecting the city. It's, it's putting us in for a lawsuit. I'd be afraid that if one popped up, another popped and then all of a sudden we got Presley's drag show, you know, Grand Jubilee drag show, Clay Cooper Theater drag show, Ferris wheel drag, you know. The city of Branson tells me that law is currently in effect and another element of those restrictions is drag show venues must have their windows covered. Reporting live in Branson, Parker Paget, Color 10 News.